what's happening everybody I am Marty Zoffinger and this is my houseboat and I just turned over a thousand miles on my Great Loop getaway <laughs> and as fate would have it I have myself a brand new Pelican kayak paddleboard hybrid I know some people call it a SUP with a chair <laughs> or paddleboard with a chair I call it great look at the name of it getaway how appropriate yeah, I picked this up and I haven't been able to talk about it very much because it's been crazy navigating by myself on my 31 foot boat. But I'm here now in North Carolina. You can see I've got my flag flying. And I'm going to be here for a week. So there's plenty of time for me to play with my new toy. Let me show you some of the features. First of all, if you want to go, you can paddle it or it comes with foot pedals. And these are fins, not a propeller which I happen to like a lot more myself. The chair is super comfy and it comes with a tiller handle here which will run the rudder and you can install this on either side of the boat. So that's pretty cool. The rudder is attached with five bolts. That's the same pattern as the catch power which has a, like a transom mount. So I think in the future you'll be able to buy that transom mount and put a motor on this if you want just like that, lickety split, piece of cake. So uh, it's got some bungees back here in the tank well, and it comes with a paddle holder right here. And these rails here have uh, mounts, so you can add something to that if you want really easy with a track mount, um, say a rod holder or a camera mount. This is a camera mount that I just screwed on there so I can do a little filming. Seems like I should have tightened that a little bit better, but <laughs> all the stuff the Pelican did seems to be uh, nice and tight. I added a little bungee back here for my uh, PFD, but um, yeah, I like the boat. It's lightweight. If I'm going to have a kayak on my liverboard boat, it's got to be somewhat small. And that kind of fits me because I'm a small fellow myself. This thing is ten and a half feet long and I've taken the front handle off so that I can put a rope on there and this way I can just drop it over the rail and put it in the water easy peasy which again wouldn't be too possible with a bigger kayak but with this thing it's a piece of cake because of course it's a TST um, twin sheet thermoformed instead of rotor molded which makes it lighter and blah 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 anyways let me put a rope on this or a um, <clears throat> sorry a line you call them lines on a boat so I'm gonna put a line on here and drop it over into the water and then we'll rig it up we'll take it out for a test Okay, with rods and reels, I've got my uh, exocrate here full of stuff. A uh, paddle, which comes in handy for maneuvering in shallow places. And if you go shallow, of course, you just push one foot forward. The fins, look at that. <laughs> it's making uh, propulsion already. That's sweet. I'm standing on this thing. It's amazing how uh, stable it is. I'm not saying you could stand on it, but I'm doing it. And I'm standing on the front of it. This is a stable little craft. All right, let's get her uh, untied. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go. I think I made up a little bungee up there for tidying up my lines. Let's see, did I bring it? Yep, there it is. <laughs> kind of works. <laughs> All right, let's go. These uh, HD2 drives seem like they're uh, a lot more stout than uh, the first ones that came out. So whatever issues that there might have been in the past uh, have been resolved, that's for sure. I like the cup holder. Uh, that's right there. You got another one over there. It's a little too early. You could put a beer in there if you wanted, but um, I'm going to stick to water right now. Obviously, you can bring stuff with you if you wanted to fish. And if you're going to go swimming, you can pull yourself up onto the boat really, really easily. So that's kind of neat. 
Let's see how she paddles. I got the pedals in the parallel position. That means the, the fins are straight down. They'll act like a dagger board. Doesn't take a lot of effort to get this boat moving with a paddle. It doesn't surprise me what with the uh, flat bottom that it's got. But if I just stow that and I use the pedals, boy, this thing really flies. Yeah. So now again, I've got the pedals one foot forward, one foot back, and that makes them hug the bottom and it'll steer really fast. You see that? I'm not even pedaling and it's turning. It's very responsive. That is really neat. I like a smaller boat. I mean, that's my uh, looper boat. That's 31 feet long. And I thought to myself, you know what would be better than that? Something smaller. <laughs> be more fuel efficient, easier to drive, easier to dock and all that stuff. But uh, that's why I kind of like to get the smallest kayak or paddleboard that you can afford to use. And by afford, I don't mean just money. I mean, get something that is the smallest that you're comfortable on. If you're a big guy, obviously you need a bigger kayak. I'm um, 5'5", 150, 145. So I get away with small kayaks. You can see this thing's boogieing along pretty good. That's very nice. There's a sign over there that says no wake. <laughs> I'm gonna have to slow it down a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is now probably one of the most affordable boats that has fins, you know? To a lot of folks, this type of drive system was out of reach for their budget. And Pelicans helped make that happen. It's one of the reasons that I really love Pelican because they're like me. They want to make the best possible choice for somebody who's getting into kayaking or wants to try something for the very first time. And I know that there are plenty of people who have been doing it for a long time that stick with Pelican. Anything that I've ever promoted on my channel, I did so because I believed in it. So for all you guys out there that think I'm just doing this as a commercial or something, then just know that if I didn't believe in these products, I wouldn't tell you to use them. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to throw a lure, see if I can catch a fish. One of the first advantages I ever noticed when I got myself a pedal kayak was that you can get your rod ready as you're approaching the spot you want to fish. Uh, I was chasing some jacks one day and they were going real fast and it would have been tough to catch up to them, Just put my paddle down, pick up the rod and reel and then throw a lure amongst them because they were moving so fast. So uh, there's a lot of advantages to being able to use your feet instead of your hands for propulsion if you're going to do other things like fish. And if there's a wind or a current, you just point yourself into that and gently pedal and you can kind of stay put. It's a real pleasure to fish from a vessel that has a pedal and a rudder. Man, it's nice. Again, I know it's shallow here. This is all beach when it, the tide is low and there's a lot of oysters and such, but if I touch bottom, it's no big deal. I can either use the paddle or flutter the fins. That enables me to move in very shallow water compared to a vessel that has a propeller. Oh, what a cast right on the grass. Come on, redfish, make my day. <laughs> oh, look at the bait jumping. Wow. <laughs> something magical about being out on the water. Whether you're fishing or paddling or just hanging out with uh, buddies. And this is a pretty cool boat to do it with. That's for sure. If it was low tide, I could easily take the seat off. It just pops forward and uh, comes out of this thing easy peasy. No tools or anything needed. There it is, it's back in. How cool is that? Uh, for all the people that have been following my channel and are interested in any way that you could possibly help me, here's a way to do it. Go in the description below. I'll leave a link to Pelican Sport. Go there, have a look at this boat, look at the specs. You don't have to buy anything, but just going there will help me show Pelican that 
I'm spreading their word, which again, I believe in with all my heart. So thank you guys for coming along and stay tuned because I can't leave well enough alone and I'll probably uh, modify this boat at some point. Oh yeah, I was going to uh, take this and put it in front of it and handle it so I can get some footage to end this video. And I forgot to mention how the front of this boat is really low to the water. So if you got to get in the water or you want to get in the water, which I don't really because it's starting to get windy and chilly. Uh, but I'm going to man up, I'm going to get in, I'm going to put this up front to get that shot for you guys. And I'll show you how easy it is to get back on the boat. Make sure I don't have my phone in my pocket. Uh, you can also crab walk along, you know, like if you were fishing and you were in really shallow water. But I'll talk about that in another video. as easy as it's ever been to get onto a kayak. Kayaks can be difficult to get onto sometimes. This one's a piece of cake. There it is. Cool. Now I'll get my b-roll and I'll get my butt back to the boat so I can dry off before the rain comes. Not that it matters now because I'm already wet. See you guys later. All right.